CSS variables, also known as custom properties, let you reuse the same value in multiple places. For example, if you use the same color in different parts of your website, it makes sense to create a variable for that color. The variable holds the property value, making your CSS cleaner, reusable, and easier to manage. To create a CSS variable, you define it in the root selector, which is the highest level parent element, even above the body or HTML tags. Variables are written with a double dash followed by a name, like double dash primary color. Then, you assign a value, such as a hex color code, for example, to create and use a variable for this button's background color. Now, apply it using the var function and pass the variable name within the parenthesis. The var function allows you to use the value of any variable, making your code dynamic and reducing repetition, following the DRY principle, don't repeat yourself. We can see that the button now uses the color defined in the variable. It's as simple as that. But why should you use variables and how can you benefit from them? First, efficiency. It saves time by reusing values like colors or font sizes without typing them repeatedly. This also makes your code more concise and easier to maintain. Second, consistency. It keeps your design uniform by using the same values throughout your code. Third, flexibility. It allows you to easily update your website's design by changing variable values in one place, enabling global changes. For instance, if all colors on your website are set using variables, you can change the entire look or enable dark mode by updating the variable values. Types of variables. There are two types of variables in CSS, global variables and local variables. Global variables. Global variables are accessible everywhere in your CSS file. They are defined in the root selector, making them available throughout your entire style sheet. You can override global variables in child elements if needed. These overridden values are called local variables. Local variables. Local variables are only accessible within the specific block, function, or class where they are defined. For example, if you have a card and define a local variable to change the text color to blue, all child elements of the card will use this blue color instead of the global value. Fallback function. To be extra safe, you can add a fallback value when using the var function. Now, when you use this variable in multiple places and decide to change the value, you only need to update it once. Calculations with variables. CSS variables work perfectly with the calc function, which lets you perform mathematical operations directly in your styles. You can use variables with calc to create dynamic values for spacing, layouts, or typography. All related calculations update automatically when you update the variable, making your code more flexible and efficient. Responsive typography. Responsive typography means text that adjusts automatically to fit the size of the screen or container, ensuring it is readable on all devices. Why use CSS variables in responsive typography? CSS variables allow centralized control of font sizes, making updates easy and scalable for large projects. You can define font sizes in one place, and any changes will apply throughout your style sheet.